Hi, I'm Mark Tuart, and welcome to the video series, Why Dealerships Struggle. In video 21 today, our content that we're going to discuss is bad deal and desking process. In almost every single dealership that struggles, when I look at the overall profits and gross profits, it's very poor. And it's poor because they do not have a good deal and desking process. And what I mean by deal process, if you're taking a lead from the internet and you're taking it to a desking situation, a proposal situation, whether it's online or offline, you have to have a very tight process. And a lot of dealerships will make an excuse that, well, everything is so transparent today, we can't make gross profit. I'm here to tell you that's absolutely wrong. And all the great dealerships that have a very good internet process, guess what? Their gross profits are as good or even better than just somebody walking off the street. Once again, it comes back to process, value, what you believe in, and being able to give somebody more than what they expected. Now, when somebody is at the dealership, what I find is if I do a deal audit, if I were to go through 10 sold deals from the month before and 10 unsold, and I were to look at the deal process, the way that the deal was so-called desk, the numbers were proposed, etc., I always find several glaring things. Number one, I find deals worked on price only. I find deals that are worked on either trade or trade difference only. I find deals where if there were payments discussed, it was only one payment and down payment instead of three. I believe in the power of threes. You've got to have three options that are perfect amount of choice for a customer. Also, a glaring example of why you lose deals, why you lose gross profit, is because you don't have adequate down payment examples. In other words, you're not showing deals with 20 or 25 percent and some shorter term deals. Always, when I do these deal audits, I'll find deals where they have been proposed with zero down, 500, 1,000, or 2,000. Almost always, it's a whole bunch of zero, 500, and $1,000 down payment issues. Where can you go from there? And then the next one is, they show the longest term up front. You're running scared, or you're out on the lot and you're getting information about, supposedly, what they've gotten everywhere else. This is your car, and you're the one proposing the deal. You should start from your figures first. I don't care where they came from, internet, walk-in phone, Anyway, it does not matter. You have to start the deal correctly in the same way every time. And are you asking the right questions before you throw numbers out? I don't mean to be offensive, but you could teach a monkey to desk a deal. What you're trying to find out is how do you solve your customer's problem? In other words, what are they thinking and what are they feeling? And if you're not asking the top 10 questions right up front that would most address those issues, and I'm not talking about how much money do they want to put down, where they want their payments to be, what do they want for their trade. All of that stuff will get you negative information that will start you from their figures rather than yours. If you want to get your dealership moving from struggle to success, start with a better deal and desking process. I'm Mark Tuart. Make sure you tune in to the rest of our video series. Also go to my website and get your free email newsletter at tuart.com. And also you can call us anytime at 888-2-TOUR. And as always, here's to you and good selling.